flows sex the beginning of surrender quite often i wonder why does my life force returns as deep echo from the unfathomable empty horizon when it comes wearily creates infinite waves in my compassionate heart and then these waves overflow as message capable to bring about transformation transformation can happen only when you allow it to sink deep within you sex is very mysterious phenomena you start it but the moment comes when you are no more sex is started as a voluntary thing then there is a limit if you cross that limit you cannot come back however if you do not cross that limit you can come back so sex is both voluntary and non voluntary there is a limit up to which your mind will be needed but if you do not lose your mind your head your reason your consciousness your religion your philosophy your way of life if you do not lose your mind then boundary will not be crossed and you will be experiencing sex in voluntary realm indeed there is a deep connection between surrender and sex remember sex is the first surrender however it is biological surrender only which you can experience easily but what does surrender means it means to be open unafraid and vulnerable it means allowing the other to enter you biologically and naturally sex is the basic experience where without any effort you allow someone to enter you or someone to be so deeply close to you that you are not armored against that person you are not resisting and at the same time not holding yourself back instead you are flowing relaxed not afraid not thinking of the future of the result of the consequence but just being in the moment even if death occurs you will accept it in deep love lovers always felt that this is the right moment to die and death occurs and if death occurs then even death can be welcomed in that moment they are open even for death they are open if you are open for life you will be open for death as well if you are closed for life you will be closed for death in old english 3 or 400 years ago this was a usual expression the lovers would say to the beloved i want to die in you this was a love expression it is beautiful i want to die in you love is a death a death of ego only then your real self is born and modern man is very very afraid of death in every way surrender is death love is death and life also is a continuous moment to moment death because something dies every moment if you are afraid you will miss it 
miss life itself. Those who are afraid of death are basically afraid of life as well. They have not lived, that is why they are so afraid of death. And the fear is natural. If you have not lived at all, you are bound to be afraid of death. Because death will deprive you of the opportunity to live and have not and you have not lived as yet so if death comes then when will you live one who has lived deeply is not afraid of death he is fulfilled and if death comes he can welcome it accept it now whatsoever life can give life has already given Whatsoever can be known in life, he has known it. Now he can move into death easily. He would like to move into death so that he can know something unknown, something new. In sex, in love, you are fearless. You are not fighting for something in the future. This very moment is paradise. This very moment is eternal. But when I say I do not necessarily mean that you have experienced it through sex. If you are afraid, resisting, then in sex you can have a biological or sexual release. But you will not attain to the ecstasy Tantra talks about. William Reich says you have not known sex at all. Unless in sex you can attain a deep orgasm. It is not only a release of sex energy. Instead, your whole body must become relaxed. Then the sex experience is not localized at the sex center. Instead it, is instead, it is spread all over the body. Your every cell is soaked in it. And you have a peak, a peak in which you are not a body. If you cannot attain a peak in sex, a peak in which you are not the body, you have not known sex at all. That is why William Reich says a very deep paradoxical thing. He says sex is spiritual. This is what Tantra says and the meaning is that in deep sex you will not be a body at all. You will become just a spirit that is hovering. Your body will be left far behind. You will have forgotten it completely. It will be no more. You will not be the part of the material world. You will have become immaterial. Only then is there orgasm. This is what Tantra means by the act of sex. There comes a total relaxation, a feeling that now you are fulfilled, a feeling that there is no need to desire anything unless this feeling happens to you in sex. This feeling of desirelessness, you have not known sex at all. You may have produced children and that is easy, not a different thing. Only man can achieve this spirituality that William Reich talks about in sex. Otherwise sex is just animal instinct. That is why I go on speaking to you to bring about a change in your understanding and you can transcend beyond the body 
But when teachers, monks, etc. condemn sex, you nod your head that they are right. Because this is your experience as well. When Tantra says something, it is difficult to believe in it because it is not your experience as yet. That is why Tantra could not become a universal message yet. But the future is good because the more men will become wise and understanding, the more Tantra will be felt and understood. Enough for now.